Previously on Apprentice A. Was anyone else like a really emotional child? Oh my goodness, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like, yeah, it's a I tin. Mm. He's Are they good? At it. It's getting difficult because he's looking too hard. <laughs> I want one of these. What did you want? You drank a lot of I pop. I drank a full large of iced tea. Oh, that's a bad idea. Yeah. These, however, are not bad ideas. We should get lion statues to line the front of the house. Or one at each end of the, the driveway, so we can be like, welcome to us. <laughs> oh man. We've decided we're sick of weeds and we don't feel like pulling the weeds, so we're just gonna cover every available spot with mulch or stones oh, or something. That's why we're here, hey. we got red rocks, Fresh red, red tile. tile. Oh, that's a fancy Ooh. Thing. We don't really know what we're doing. Oh, wait, what? It's gonna be a disaster, but that's Hard okay. No. <laughs> uh, Sam just came up with the idea that if we uh, get green mulch, which they don't make, but put a got whole it. bunch of green mulch down, and then uh, just get little patches of red mulch and put it in between, then it looks like we have flowers everywhere, and it'll just be year-round flowers, except for when the snow covers it. But still, I think I'm pretty clever. <laughs> it's weird because the stone is literally more expensive. Yeah. And that's smaller bags. It's like two bucks more. This one? Like, well, like four dollars more expensive. Yeah. That's a lot more. Mulch, we actually showed up. We're like, mulch, whoa! Three dollars for mulch? We can just buy a whole bunch of mulch. <laughs> I wonder why. Why? Because rocks are expensive to collect? I don't know. Not if we collect it. <laughs> well, I came up with the idea to like go to the playground at night and just like bag by bag every night, just kind of steal a bag of rocks. Just one bag of rocks, yeah. and then they'll just slowly fill it back in. Yeah, because like, yeah. man, why are so, you losing all these pebbles? Like, that's kind of weird. I guess I had to Nobody put them more in. And then we're like, <laughs> okay, we've changed our minds. We're gonna turn our entire yard into a sandbox. Uh, the dogs will have a blast. Sam's gonna start washing the dogs, so I don't have to. <laughs> Corey can wash his dogs. <laughs> <laughs> There's some bark nuggets over here. It's the best words combination ever. Go team, go! <laughs> so we just did this. We pulled a huge pile of stuff out of the ground. Do you wanna, do you wanna throw in the scale model? Banana for scale! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It uh, just keeps going a bunch. And it's like, it's a relatively tall pile it's like up to my knees. of things. I think we did good, guys, ladies. I'm disgusted that there's so many. I know. In the first place, we are but. bad people, know, but you know, we were gone for a little while. It's fine. Well, they grew really fast. Too. Yeah, rained all the time. Guys, we picked some flowers. Look how cute they are. And then Mary found a bow. Dude, that bow is glorious. That is like a perfect bow. Thank you. Well done. We're cute. Also, this lady's here. Hi, it's Hi. been a while. <laughs> she was already playing with it. She's like literally walked in and was like, dogs. I haven't seen them in five weeks. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, but that's, that's been the longest time I've gone. <laughs> I've gone without seeing them. So Corrado made soup, but we all have very different opinions on how one eats soup. <laughs> Corrado puts rice in it. Which is really weird to me. I already added noodles. He added noodles because we yelled at him because he has to insist on adding something. But like even noodles to me, I mean it's okay, but it's like kind of weird. You add so, look at that. That's not soup. Also, this is That's just soup. soup. This is noodles. Look at the soup. This is no, noodles. That's not soup. That's not soup. Um, also, there's. I mean, we didn't have vegetables like a lot of vegetables, but Sam and I added a bunch of vegetables. And Corrado just wasn't gonna. So I never said I wasn't gonna do that. <laughs> but you weren't planning on it. No. Uh, also, uh, you eat soup with bread, or mostly buns, though. Mostly buns. So you take buns, and then uh, I mean, I think this is a Dutch thing, but like you take buns, and then you usually put like cheese on the buns, or like meat, yeah. like lunch meat, like ham and roast beef, oh, yeah. and like that kind oh, of yeah. stuff. Are you eating the soup or having a sandwich? I'm um, both. That's how you eat soup. You, you eat it with a sandwich. Soup is not like you no, can't you have need dinner just soup. You need to have a bun or something. Yeah. It's like that's how you eat soup. You have a big pot of soup and then usually like if you're at like a family thing, they bring out a platter 
of buns with different meats and cheese yeah. and stuff on them. That's how yeah, it works. That's you don't just do. fill it with rice and call it a day. You have rice and noodles and potatoes and... This no. is the most intense conversation about no. <laughs> It's very important. Uh, there's two Dutch people here, so we trump. We, we win. win. We Did win. The Dutch are soup people. <laughs> we have driven to the middle of nowhere. Yep. To, fingers crossed, Look at the Perseid meteor our shower and then cross our fingers and hopefully we'll be able to see something. Um, there's been, I guess there's, this happens all the time, but like there's a meteor shower that happens for like a couple weeks. But today is supposed to be the day when you're supposed to see it the best. Yo. So we're in a dark, there's still light pollution all around us, but we're in the darkest place that we could find on relatively short notice. And Corey's got a cool, Star An chart app, app that'll thing. show you where all the things are. I made it red because it helps with your night vision. Ooh. Yeah, because red. I don't know if you know this, but um, you're if if you're you know you like your eyes get bigger in the dark and yeah. then you can see and then when you look at like ah your eyes shrink. <laughs> um, red light doesn't do that, so it makes your screen red, and so then you can look at it and it's not red. blinding you, so you can Ooh. see space. Cool. We're gonna go see if we can see something. We're gonna see space. Space. So wow. you can't see anything, but there's stars up there. Look at, look. There's lots of stars. Look at all the stars. There you go. Look at the fuzzy stars. Look Cause at you can't focus cause it's too dark, but there's stars. <laughs> just go outside and look for yourself. Yeah, just go look at them. Even if it's daytime, there's still stars. <laughs> well, this starts until the 24th or 25th, so technically. Does it? Yeah. Oh. Today's just the peak. Oh. <laughs> Well, we can, we can go Dogs are chilling in the car. The, the least amount of light pollution is. And then go see, try and see again. It's because we, because we're in Toronto, the pollution is so bad. Yeah, it's, it's like all of that city. is just bright and stupid. Yeah, because all the things um, are like, oh, do 20 to 30 minutes outside. Well, like, yeah. No, we need to more do like an hour. Oh, those people are yeah. stopping too. I wonder if they're looking at stars. Those, that blob over there. Or maybe they're going to kill us. <laughs> That's okay, I'll keep you safe. Thanks. That's Cassiopeia there. Over here is the Big Dipper. So over there is Saturn. <laughs> over there is over the space the, uh, station. The Coruscant <laughs> system. Come here, dogs. Come here, dogs. Come on. Come on. We brought the pups. We're letting them out, and then every time a car gets on the horizon, we make them the back, go back in the car. And they listen. Yeah, they're doing really well. Okay. Uh, here's a photo we just took <laughs> and it's cool because we can see more stars in the photo than we can see with our eyes Your eyes can be deceived. Don't trust them <laughs> um, So if we zoom in and uh, we can see all these stars We're just zooming in they're just little points of light and some of them are different colors and whatever and woof de doo But if we zoom out and we go over to the right here, there's this yellow star But that's actually not a star That's Saturn uh -huh. and you can just just see the ring. Oh, that's so cool! Yep. Awesome. Yep. This is the best. This is awesome. <laughs> if yeah. we learned about light pollution, yep. we go and check, there's like maps that you can check, and we can go figure out which where to go. Well, I'll drive an hour or two <laughs> out into just yeah. the middle of Ontario. I'll just go, I'll go in the middle of Ontario. The middle of Ontario is about 12 hours. <laughs> That's true. So Ontario's huge. <laughs> it's just not going to work. A lot of people don't but... realize that the size of one province is the size of like eight or ten states. small to medium yeah. sized states. Like Canada is the same size as the states. Oh, it's much bigger. Roughly. Yeah. It's a bi much bigger, yeah. whatever. But there's like there's 50 state, I yeah. don't know, 50. Yeah. And then there's 12, 13. 10 no, provinces, three territories. Right, yeah, okay. Did you know Canada is the second largest country in the world? Yep, after, after Russia. After Russia. Oh, Russia. Yeah. After Russia. Did okay. you know Canada owns the North Pole? What? Did you know that? No. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yep. Uh, Santa Claus is we Canadian. Just don't... <laughs> they gave him a, a passport a couple years ago. And, 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 and it's a Canadian anywhere, address? And yeah, anywhere in the world, if you mail Santa, you mail, you write Santa Claus, uh, North Pole, and then for the postal code, doesn't matter where in the world, you put H-O-H-O-H-O. -H -O -H -O. And that's a Canadian postal uh, code. And it's, it goes to like the mail, a mailing place somewhere in Quebec, and they hand over the- Cool! Anywhere's right in one. Okay, now that you can actually see me, I just wanted to share my excitement over what happened. There was, um, 
There's a bunch of Meteor Falling Star things, which was really cool, but there's one. It was huge. Like in the sky. It if was the grand scheme of things is like this, it was like this big. It was. It just massive. kept going. This giant flare of light. And then it like it was slowly. So it was so cool. <sighs> My heart. Ah! Go outside. Look up a bunch. Cause Until the 24th awesome. or the 25th. Try and find a place that has less light pollution because it's hard to see when you can't even see the stars. Um, but like, it's so cool. Home is where the fog is.